Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you my favorite way to track masks in DaVinci Resolve. We're going to be using the colors panel because that's the fastest, easiest, and generally most accurate way that I've found to do it. So, if you're ready to learn, I'm ready to show you how to do this. Let's get into the video. So as you can see in this clip, I have tracked a colored mask onto this lighthouse. And that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. Here we are inside of the video Resolve. This is that little intro that you just watched. But we are going to go ahead and move on over here. Get rid of that. We're going to be using that same clip. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. And these same principles are going to move on over into other clips that you're going to be working with. All right, so we have our clip. I'm going to delete the sound off this clip because it's just wind and waves and nothing you want to listen to the whole time we're working on this. We're going to go ahead and pop into the colors panel. Here we are inside the colors panel. We have the clip that we're going to be working with. Our first step that we want to do once we're in here is make a new node so that we're not affecting our original node here. So what we're going to do is hit Alt S and that's going to make a new serial node right here. It's going to be automatically connected. Everything we're going to be doing for this mask is going to be in this second node here because the first one generally I like to use for actual like color grading stuff. That being said, let's jump into this second node here and we're going to go ahead and pop into our power windows little tab down here. I'm going to grab this pen tool and we're going to use the mouse wheel to scroll into whatever we want to mask. And in this case, I'm going to do the roof here. So we're going to grab this corner of the roof, that corner, we're going to go down there, hit that corner, and I'm being a little bit sloppy here if I was not just tutorializing you guys, I would be a little bit more careful with my points than I'm being right here, but that's the gist of it. And now that we have our mask and it's closed, what we're going to do is pop into the tracking panel to make sure we're at the beginning, just, just in case. We're going to click on clip right here so that we're doing the whole clip. And then this little play button here is going to start the track forward. Uh, I can't catch up. Okay. So we're going to fit. And then if we go back to the beginning, we watch. That mask is tracked right onto that roof, just how we wanted it to be. So any effects that we put onto this mask in this node here are going to show up on our clip. So we'll set that offset, just move it all the way over to blue so we have a purple roof instead. Or actually, we're going to do it with the hue so that it looks a little bit more natural once we're zoomed on it. So if you look there, we just have a green roof. And we can tweak the mask a little bit, but that's it. So if, for example, this hair comes through the frame like it does right there, if that was to block your mask, all you need to do to make sure that you are still having a good good track is instead of using the clip method for that area where you are you're going to use the frame method so when you use the frame method you can change the mask for one frame so if we do that and then pop forward and then bring it back down and say this corner moves way out here and this one goes this way and then we go like that and then if we move it back to where it was originally if we watch that back we're gonna see that as soon as it hits those keyframes it's gonna freak out again if you need to do it frame by frame you need frame if you need to do something that's visible the whole time you use clip it's just that easy to track masks in DaVinci Resolve. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, make sure to leave a comment down below. If it wasn't and you still have questions, please ask them in the comments down below. Make sure to like, subscribe, share this with people that you know that edit or should edit. And I'll see you in the next video.